Yes, and Zanzi, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And like I promised you, it's time to tick that box of entertainment and find out about all the sauce that brought this incredible duo together. Now, joining us right now, we're talking about Shireen Barnard, who's known for her deep philosophical music. And then we've got rapper Joel Parker in the building. And they obviously recently collaborated in a new song called While You Love Somebody Else. So let's officially give them a Feel Good Welcome! <laughs> How are we doing? Are we all good? Yeah, Everything's good. good. Thank you. I almost Happy didn't make it. I was just about to tell you. I yeah. almost didn't make it here because I was supposed to take a flight. And then with the wind and the weather and the rain, I said, no, there's no way in hell. I'm getting <laughs> onto a plane. And then I drove all the way. And halfway through, then I saw I was sitting at a, a roadblock and I scrolled through Facebook and I saw that truck. Actually, the a one few trucks that, <laughs> that flew off the bridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. That flew off the bridge, and I was like, hell no, oh I'm going goodness. back. Oh, my <laughs> word. Well, I'm out. so grateful so, that you yeah. made it out yeah. here, that you've taken that voyage and are sharing your magic with Mzans right now, because this is exciting stuff. So let's talk about this new music. Let's talk about this new song, the inspiration behind it. Why did you decide, I need to get this out? And uh, why did you think it had to happen so soon? I mean, it's only two weeks have passed and it's taking the world by storm. Yeah, it's actually, I wrote this song uh, on the 26th of April last year. Oh, wow, yeah. So, and I only released it now. It, it's, as you know, it's part of an album. So it's the fourth song of my album. And um, I'll tell you later about the album, then you're gonna understand um, what this song is about, but um, While You Love Somebody Else is about um, a love story basically that didn't work out. Okay. You know, sometimes we all fall in love uh -huh. and um, there's different phases to being in love, but um, this song is just, um, it didn't work out as, it, as you hoped it would work out. So, um, yeah, and I wrote the song, um, the album kind of pulled me in. Mm. All my other songs were singles. So, and when I started writing this, uh, the first song, My Read Between the Lines, I was kind of pulled in by it. And I've got a very busy life, so it's kids uh, driving around to school Jogging and uh, the lions <laughs> yeah. and the restaurant and my ozone clinic. So, um, I never really have time during the day to sit and write. You can't focus your attention just on writing. You can't wake up and say, okay, now I'm going to write a song and finish the it. the world is just pulling because you Because reality the corner, yeah. is actually out there. So, um, but, but this album, it, it, it kind of um, absorbed me. So I spent a lot of time because once I started with the one song, uh, I was kind of in it and I was in the vibe and I took a lot of time um, writing it and I wanted to finish it. So there's 15 songs oh, wow. and I'm still not done. So uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, divided into two albums. Oh, incredible. So there's like a part A and a part B It's like B a to part this. one and a part two. Yeah, but so... But I mean, you mentioned you've obviously been writing this since, what, almost a year officially or even more. So yeah. for such a collection and a great collection yeah. and a body of work. It's only fitting that we give each of, of these moments its a sort of time, I think. Yeah. So splitting it in half, I think, is, is perfect. That means we get more chance to nourish and, yeah. and in, involve ourselves in this. Joel, I want to talk to you about this yeah. collaboration because some people might look from the outside and be like, whoa, this is wild. This is a polarity like no other yeah. with the two of you coming together. Yeah. But in the world of music, it always makes sense. Why do you feel like you completed the song? Or why do you feel your magic touch was because needed for it? Because they needed a good rapper. <laughs> and I came in and I made the song sound, you know, more relatable mm. because it's, a, it's an actual experience that I went through. So I was like, okay, the words came easily. So I just got in there, started writing, because she had written some stuff and I was like, nah, this is not it. Let's change it to this way. Okay, and then okay. I started modifying it, making it like making it my style. And then, yeah, it came out nicely. It I was, love that. It, it was a ballad. I actually wrote this song as a ballad. Okay. Um, and on my way from the farm to the studio, I phoned Andre on the Sunday. I went to the studio on Sunday and I phoned Andre and I said, Andre, um, I need to change the song. And I could just see him because he's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, no. And Off really, the all the screen. It was, screen. A, it was, what? A, it was what? a chance meeting, really, because yeah. I had met Andre somewhere else at a shooting range. And then we just started talking. He said, oh, I can, I can hear that you're a rapper. And then one day he just called me randomly. I was somewhere out of town. And then I had to come back. And then went there. We did the song. And one day, <laughs> Yeah, it was, was yeah, the Monday. We, we found him actually on the Sunday. On the Sunday. Who's I was Andre, if you don't mind me. Andre is my producer, the best okay, producer okay, okay. in the whole Makes world. Yeah. So, right. so I went to the studio. And then I asked Andre, listen, do you know a rapper? And he said, yes, he knows a rapper. 
And then he asked him if he could be there the Monday. So the Monday, I gave him the papers and I said, listen, you have an hour. We need to change this, the verses into a rap song. Yeah. So he did magic within the hour. I was just like astonished. I was like standing there, what? Oh, <laughs> what you knew happened? this was meant to be. And a week later, yeah. we recorded the song. It just and all it's a wild fell contrast if you think about it, because my friends are asking me, man, how do you... How do you how fit in with that? But it works, <laughs> it works. Because I had said to myself, look, there's no, there's no bad genre. It's just there's a bad song. So if you have a good song, it works. Yes, often that. it says yeah. it's a bad song, it's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, for some reason, I think this was destiny. Taking two crazy puzzle pieces and finding a way to merge them together to pre present and create what I think is going to be an absolutely beautiful picture. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, Mzanzi, then you're going to need to stick around because they will be performing that new single along with a lot of inspiration to get you in the feels, to get you hyped up for this new album, for this new music. And both of these artists have so much to offer. So you don't need to go anywhere. Official duties must commence and then it's back to entertainment. Nice job, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah.